You know, I'm amazed by this Never Romney stuff. I mean, it's not it's not a problem if you really dislike Romney. If you have some serious policy issues with Romney. But if it's just because he said mean things to Trump during the campaign, and so therefore he doesn't deserve a job, even if Trump thinks he does, well, you're a fucking hypocrite. I mean, what... Is this about what he wouldn't he wouldn't support him? So what? He decided he didn't want to support him. He didn't believe Trump was the right candidate, and he stuck by his guns. But you think that if if Trump picks him, he's he's what betraying you? That's that's ridiculous. You're betraying the idea of free speech that you've been railing against, that you said Trump was the free speech candidate. He's the guy who is standing up to all these crazy SJWs who are getting people fired or, or making them quit jobs like that, like what happened in uh, 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 Netscape or, or, or Mozilla or whatever it was way back when because he had a, a bad opinion on gay marriage. What is wrong with you guys? And, and here we got... Mike Huckabee, you couldn't say enough nice things about him in the in the 2012 presidential campaign uh, during the convention, but now he's on Fox and Friends talking about why he can't support Romney. Look, it's not about that I don't care for Mitt personally. Absolutely, it's about how you don't care for him personally. But I'm still very unhappy that Mitt did everything he could to derail Donald Trump. What, you mean his, his tweets? Let me see what else he did. He didn't just go after him from a standpoint of saying, I disagree with his policy on immigration, I disagree with his policy on taxes. He attacked him on a personal level. So did Trump. I mean, Trump was attacking everybody on a very personal level. I mean, this, this election wasn't like any other, and that was happening across the board. Level ...about his character, integrity, his honor. Well, when you do that, there's only one way that I think Mitt Romney could even be considered for a post like that, and that is that he goes to a microphone in the very public place and repudiates everything he said. Well, he didn't have to do that. Uh, if Trump says you're hired, doesn't make him do it. He doesn't have to do it, does he? I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you hi we hired this guy. We hired Trump. The voters hired Trump. Now we got to let him do his job because we said you, you are the one that has the ability to pick these people. So, so let him pick them. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted by this. I really am. You, you, you just, what did you expect was going to happen? Did, did you, he was, everybody he picks, they're going to hate in one form or another. In that famous Salt Lake City mm. speech and everything he said after that, where he said Donald Trump wasn't fit, that he lacked character. I mean, on and on. That's, a, that's beyond just the normal political infighting that we all experience. That's the thing, Mike. The normal political infighting that has been going on and on is what we are tired of. We, we're sick of that bullshit. We're tired of the, you know, you scratch my back and then I'll scratch yours. Look at what Bernie Sanders did. Completely sold out everything he said. You know there was a deal there for him to support Hillary. Hillary was going to give him something. I don't know what. Maybe a cabinet position maybe an ambassadorship, I, I don't know, What whatever, she, she would have given him something, something, there was a deal there, there was a quid pro quo. Trump didn't get anything from Romney. In fact, if, if you're going to look at this, like, you know, the, the simplest solution, what is the upside for Trump in, in making Romney Secretary of State? He's got half his supporters putting never hashtag, uh, never, never Romney hashtags out there. He's if he's not the most qualified person for Secretary of State, and, and after what I saw with his predictions in 2012 about what would happen in Syria, what would happen with Russia, what would happen with the terrorists in West Africa, Romney was right about all these things. Seems pretty competent to me. So Trump, do you remember when everybody was saying Trump is thin-skinned? This guy, Romney, went after Trump in ways I, I couldn't believe. And Trump is bringing him in and saying, you know what, all that's passed. We're going to, I, I want you to think about Secretary of State because I believe you're the most qualified for the job. What does that say about Trump? 
But you want the you want the same political infighting. You want the same bullshit that's been going on for thirty years. You, you, go. You could have gotten Giuliani. Could have gotten Giuliani. Giuliani would have been a yes man for Trump. Everyone would have been happy. The press would have hated it, which would make Trump look even more awesome because they, you know, we hate the media on our side. He didn't go the easy route. And I think there needs to be some credit to Trump and not going the easy route. Is Romney the best pick for the job? Is he a, a great man, a great person for Secretary of State? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't have anything personally against Romney. I don't think he was a great presidential candidate. And I think they screwed with him pretty badly. But, uh, I mean, we... You remember him saying that 40 some odd percent of the of the electorate is never going to vote for Republican because they're supported by the people who work. And that came out as it turns out it was the DNC that actually got that leaked. 7 percent of the people who vote for the president will not vote. All right, there are 47 percent who are with him who are dependent upon government. We believe that, that they are victims. We believe the government has a responsibility to care for them. who believe that they're entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. But that's it's an entitlement. Bob got a hold of our guys who did the original insertions back in um, the 2000 and 2004 campaigns against Bush. <laughs> where they were inserting people in and, and interrupting his his fundraisers and his uh, his rallies. In New York? Well, they, they had a they contention. Did, they did okay. all over the country. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know if you remember, well, from, you know, the ones who negotiated to get that lawyer in, in Florida, mm -hmm. who recorded the 47%. Wait, I thought that was a bartender. It was actually a lawyer at the event. It was not a bartender? It was not a bartender. Really? No. Um, Why the, lawyer, the lawyer took his phone and, and, and had the bartender walk around. Did the bartender get in trouble? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I was going to say. No. So, it, but it, it, was a, it was a whole coordinated operation to get the phone in because they had taken away all the cell phones from all the staff. And so what they did was they set it up in the room. Do I know this this uh, this lawyer? No, Are they with the NLG? I have no idea. I have no idea who it is. Um, but they're, the, they're, you don't know the, if they're the people with them. who did the operation. They have a team of like twenty-five folks. That this is what they do. So that happened. So now. Trump is not taking the easy way out on this. He's, he's got Romney, who basically shivved him and shit on him during the election and did not support him and spoke his mind. In my opinion, you've got a guy here who's going to come into Trump owing him nothing. He really doesn't owe him anything. He didn't have to take the job. And he didn't, he didn't you know, get some deal or something because he certainly didn't support him during the election. So in my mind, you've got a guy who's actually going to speak out to Trump and tell him this is the way I think it should be done. And I'm going to tell you why and tell him the truth. I have no idea what's going to happen in four to eight years. And if you believe you do, you're full of shit. But the method that this is going on is like everything else with the Trump campaign. It's completely against the norm. He's picking somebody that basically called him out. And, and there was no change, you know, there wasn't this quick change just before the election to endorse him because he was going to be promised some job. He was getting it after the fact. I, I, that's amazing to me. And if, if all you never Romney people because your butt hurt because he said something earlier, go to hell. That's, that's, that's the antithesis of all the free speech stuff you've been talking about. And you and you disappoint me greatly if that if you're gonna hold all that against him. He spoke his mind, whether it was good, right or wrong. He spoke his mind, and he should not be punished for it. If he's the best guy for the job, I applaud Trump for at least putting him in consideration and talking to him, making sure that he's not leaving any stone unturned. That's the way it should be. Well, kids, you like that? And hit that subscribe button. There's a video up there you might like. And check out my four-part series on 
how the movie PCU predicted SJWs. Thanks a lot for listening and hope to see you next time. Thank you.